Now that we know what the XML file contains, let's put it to good use and transfer that information into the Revit model. Remember, it's important to pick the same points in Revit that you picked in Civil 3D and in the same order. For this building, I chose the intersection of column grids A and 1 as the first pick point and column grids E and 1 for the second. After picking the two points, you'll then be prompted to select the XML file. You'll also receive a prompt about creating the new shared coordinates, followed by another message that Revit has successfully set the new shared coordinates. However, what it doesn't do is actually set the new shared coordinates as current. So when you change your view from Project North to True North, you won't see any change. To correct this, simply go into the Location and Site dialog and set the newly created site as the current, and your floor plan will now match the rotation in the Civil Drawing. 